Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I'm going to demo how to configure connection pool to the database connector in Mule application. And I will explain how connection pool helps to improve the performance of Mule application. To create the connection pool in Mule application, we need to configure pooling profile in database connector configuration. Once we deploy Mule application, pooling profile create the connection pool. Connection pool establishes the connection to the database based on the property that we configure in pooling profile. These connections can be used by database connector operations. So when database connector operation executes, they don't have to create new connection every time. They can take the already created connection from the pool and they can use that to interact with the database. This improves the performance of Mule application. For demo, I will move to the AnyPoint Studio. I have a Mule application already created where I'm using database operations. I'm using select database connector operation. I'm using insert database connector operation. I'm using update database connector operation. I'm using delete database connector operation. Let me show you the current database configuration. This is my current database connector configuration. I'm using local Oracle database, port is 1521, user is student, and I'm using Oracle service XCPDB1. Right now, I haven't configured any connection pool. So to configure the connection pool, we need to configure the pooling profile. For that, I will click the advanced tab. In advanced tab, we can configure the pooling profile. So either we can configure using bean reference or we can edit in line. So I'm going to edit in line. So these are the property we can set here. Max profile, sorry, max pool size means how many maximum connection should be there in connection pool at any point of time. So we can give 25, that means 25 connection maximum could be there at any point of time in connection pool. That's the max size. Minimum pool size, how many minimum connection should be there in connection pool at any point of time? You can give five. Acquired increment, that means uh, once all connection in use and new request comes, how we need to increment the connection in pool, uh, in connection pool. So we can give uh, two. So we need to create two connection every time when uh, new request comes and there is no available connection there in pool. Prepared statement cache size. That means uh, how many prepared statement can be cached per connection in the pool. Maximum bait, that means how much new requests need to bait to get the new connection. Zero means indefinite. And this is a unit for the max bait. It could be second, hour, days and all. Max idle time means uh, if connection is not in use, then how long it can stay in the pool. Zero means it will always stay. So these are the property we can set here. So we set the maximum pool size 25, minimum pool size 5. So I will click OK. So now we have configured the pooling profile. We can go back to the configuration XML. You can see this pooling profile has been created. We have max pool size 25, min pool size 5 and required increment 2. Now, once we deploy this application, this will initialize the connection pool. So let me run this new project into save. This new application is getting deployed in embedded server.
okay this mill application has been deployed let me check the log you can search for the connection you can see that this pool has been initialized connection data source so here are the max pool size we provide 25 and minimum pool size is 5 that's be provided here and require increment to that's what we provided in pooling profile so it's initialized based on the configuration that we provided so connection pool has been initialized whenever we will invoke these database operations select insert update or delete these operation will not create a new connection they will take the connection from the pool and once the database operation executes finish they will return the connection back to the pool this will save the time because uh, whenever you are executing these operations they don't have to create a new connection and creating new connection takes time that time will be saved and that's how it improves the performance of mule application so let me execute this database connector select operation so let me find out the resource so resources slash select and uh, this is the query params a stream that i'm passing and then i'm selecting the student from a student master table for a particular stream so let me go to the chrome browser and i will invoke that resource localhost 8081 select question mark stream is equal to science click enter we got the data we got two record so whenever we invoke this select operation this took the connection from the pool it didn't create a new connection when it executed this database operation this is a small application so it's a uh, improvement is not that much noticeable but in complex system connection pool really helps the new application performance this is all in this video i wanted to show you how to configure the connection pool in database connector configuration to improve the performance of mule application if you like this video click the like button and subscribe the channel thanks for watching thank you very much